Thanks for joining the channel. We are at the halfway point of this 30 day weight loss challenge. I just wanna give you a few minutes of video time just to encourage you to keep going. If you're thinking about jumping in now, it's never too late to start because you can go in your own pace. What's been happening in my end? Yeah, today has been challenging this week. So literally I'm at the halfway point, which is almost the third week. A lot of stress as you're coming around the holidays and you're dealing with things you need to wrap up for the new year, all of that's going on. There's also some gatherings, some maybe some business type of events that are part of the whole holiday celebration in small groups. And of course you're gonna be around a lot of sugar. That was my issue this past week. And because the sugar turned into one day, people keep giving you more goodies, you have it in the house, and then it turned into two days and then three days. I'm a little disappointed about that, at the same time, I could have said no. I do want to enjoy the holidays and I think that you should too if you want to take a little bit of a taste. Now, if you know that you're that binger, which I am as well, you may want to restart your 30-day commitment after you have had a bunch of sugar. So with the no oil, I've been sticking to that. No oil, no cheese. Wow, and that's a big deal in my book to do the low calorie density program that I've been incorporating into my life. Meaning eating mostly plant-based meals, although I still incorporate a little bit of fish. Lately, I've been having a TMJ problem. You know where your jawline is. I'm a clencher. I'm a clencher. I'm also told I'm a grinder at night. So I went to the dentist and dealt with that and had to get a guard for my mouth. And when I did the guard, <laughs> it just made it worse and worse and worse. So I haven't been feeling good and not wanting to do much exercise, although I am stretching. Um, I haven't walked very much this week. And so I'm a little disappointed about my weight loss, you know, momentum that I had last week. That's okay, guys, because really I feel a lot better. I still lost the inches. I may not have lost the weight, but I'm basically just holding steady. And I already know where it came from is that sugar. So we're burning that off and then we're getting right back on track. The other thing we have to do is eliminate as much as possible the stress. And because of the stress, I allowed it to manifest into my TMJ and it's been radiating down my neck. So I said, enough is enough. I'm just going to try something new. So I went to acupuncture and I didn't realize that my insurance company actually covered it. And I'm thinking that I had to pay out of pocket and they checked it out and there you go. I can do a bunch of different visits and not have a huge copay or anything like that. I'm really excited. I went my first time and uh, wow. That was a very enlightening session and it really calmed me down because I have a ton of anxiety and so this was definitely something that really, really cut into that. So I'm returning again and again before this year is out and while I'm on the 30 day challenge. And what I want to say to you guys, if you are having a lot of stress, it's hard to let go of the weight. And if you are on the low calorie density program and really, really taking it seriously, then it will pay off. I promise you, it just may take a little bit longer. So remember to get good sleep. And because you're always losing weight in your sleep, but it needs to be quality sleep and it needs to be long enough where at least seven hours and I try to get eight, it rarely ever happens. But once I get into that six hour range, I'm no good and then I look horrible and and that's what's been happening so the stress builds up if you're having less sleep so take care of yourself and on the low calorie density program you want to make sure that your plate remember you have half starch and half non starchy vegetables green vegetables now if you feel like you're really stagnated then bring down the starch to one-third of the plate and the rest vegetables okay 
and um, you should see a change and start shifting. So just be patient and remember, we all have flaws, we're not perfect. So just remember to take the perfect out of progress because it will be stumbles and challenges along the way and I know you can make it. Until the next video, don't forget that caregiving begins with you. In a fragment of my mind, I said, darling, you are all I want for sure. Darling, you give me everything and more. I said, darling.